then we have some other tools like our IP config. Uh, sometime uh, we have some DNS issue with the help of IP config slash, uh, slash flush DNS you are going to flush your dns information and you know i'm going to discuss this thing a lot in your week two module then every computer has some kind of mac addresses or even every network interface card that is attached on your computer has different mac address it has different mac address it one has different even your virtual machine has some kind of uh, virtual network interface card which is having different MAC address. And these all will be uh, unique. So to uh, just to identify, to get those, you very quickly, you can go through this command. And then we have R. Uh, R basically will show how many computers um, your, your host machine has learned, by the way. How many MAC addresses it has learned. Maybe you're in your LAN environment. We, you know, in the ARP, the ARP is a complete chapter as its own. So we're going to discuss ARP a lot in detail. And the CCNS switching section is totally dependent on ARP. So what I was uh, showing is uh, we have the LAN environment. We have, let's suppose, 100 computers connected in the same environment with the same subnet this your host or computer will have the information about these all host machines in using the help of our protocol then we have ns lookup we have one dedicated section uh talking about ns lookup we will we'll go a lot in detail system info is going to give you the information about your computer and I will I will de demonstrate this one as well. Route print uh, is just like if you are familiar in a routing environment, we have command show IP route. Which is going to give me information how many best paths do I have. So in a command prompt, you can have route print. My uh, this greater the sign if we use in the command prompt this is also very handy and useful command for example if this is a system information uh, that is uh, very verbose information and we want to save this information in my text so you can use uh, greater than sign and you can save in uh, somewhere in your computer to send to to some your friend or some your boss or colleague in format of the notepad then we have five more uh, so i will give you a demo then you will have a better idea about this so let's very quickly i'm going to give a demo about these uh, each uh, command but i'm not going to go a lot in detail because we have already covered so many concepts so you will be confused I will clear the screen. So IP config, very basic command, and you will use a lot. It will give you the information uh, about what uh, network interface cards you have, like Ethernet adopter I have on a VMware, which is virtual environment. Uh, this is also a virtual environment. And this is my physical local network interface cards. Uh, then we have a wireless and then these are um, uh, can say the what are the IP addressing I am using on my relevant uh, network interface card like on uh, my LAN I am using this kind of IP 192.168.100.3 for my wireless LAN uh, which is not connected it is media has been disconnected for Ethernet adopter VMware I am using these kind of addressing so very quickly, you can go over and check the IP connectivity. Then you have IP config slash flush DNS. So basically, if I will hit enter, it is going to erase all DNS information that 
resides in my uh, host machine, which I do not want because I want to keep DNS information. And for the DNS, uh, we have a dedicated section in week uh, two module again. Then the, we have get Mac. If I'll simply press or uh, type get Mac and hit enter, it is very quickly going to give me information about the MAC addresses. But the problem is it is not giving me what this physical address is connected with, which interface or which NIC card, net network interface card. To get that, you type get MAC and type slash B, hit enter. If I'll just expand this one. Here you can see my VM virtual is using this phys physical interface card, uh, physical address or the MAC address. My local area connection or LAN card is using this uh, physical MAC address and my wireless is using this uh, MAC address. So see how quickly uh, you just uh, 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 get the knowledge about the MAC addresses of your uh, network interface cards. So this is also some kind of very handy command. Then we have R, it comes with uh, a lot of uh, options. Let's uh, do with R minus A, and it is going to give me the information uh, what other host machine my computer has learned so far. So in this case, for example, if I give you information, this is my gateway. And this is a physical address that is correlated to my access point. So instead of resolving this MAC address, it will send the ARP and it will receive ARP, reply, and then I will get this MAC address. It already keeps this information saved in its ARP table. Why? When I want to uh, reach my access point, it will go directly to MAC address and just go directly to the access point instead going through some another process which I'm going to discuss in um, subsequent lectures. As I said, NS lookup. Uh, we have uh, one dedicated section for NS lookup. But just to um, give you information what it does, if you hit NS lookup, it is going to give me information what I, my gateway address is connected. And if I want to go a lot in detail, I can go like set type. Uh, I want to know information about the mail exchange server, about some, uh, let's go, uh, like www.jobskillshare.org, if, I, hand, if I, I hit enter, it will show me my mail server basically uh, have uh, this uh, name of the server is ns1.cloudfree.net. So this is going to give me the information about my mail exchange server. So not to worry about if you are not getting this at this time, because uh, my intention is just to make sure you have this command in your tool belt. And this is, we're gonna discuss a lot in detail in subsequent videos. If you want to exit, just type exit and you will be in the command prompt again. Then the other tool we have system info, which is going to give me the verbose information about my computer. Just type system and info. As you can see how quickly it is going to give me a nitty gritty detail about what my computer is, what is the processor type multiprocessor. I'm using Microsoft Corporation, the operating system version and the build. What kind of operating system name is Windows 10 Pro? And there is a ton and ton of information. Then we have route print. If you do route print,
So this is just like um, IP routing table. It is having information about the multiple gates, for example, and which is the best one I'm going to route from this. So this table is going to give, in, give you the information about that. And wherever, wherever you will see the network destination is 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, 0, it is nothing but your default gateway. Just, you know, I don't want to discuss a lot this one, what is default, uh, I, default route, because uh, you will be confused then. So keep it for the routing uh, topics. Then, I, I, as I said, for example, we have system info. This all information I want to send using email address. Of course, I want to save this information somewhere. So for that, we can use the greater than command and we can type uh, just a minute. We will use the command system info, then greater than sign, and where we want to save this file with the what name. Let's put the name of file is uh, system info dot text. Then I will hit enter. And if I take a look of directory, uh, there's so much going on. But by the way, if you will go into C Windows System 32, you will find sorry. You will find this file system info.txt, which will be having the information about your system information. So this is how uh, how very quickly you can say whatever the command you are going to give and it will be saved in this uh, text notepad with the help of greater than sign. So this is the syntax. Then the last command is slash more, and this is also very helpful and handy. Like in this case, if I type directory, and you can see there are so many things, uh, so many pages uh, it is going through, but I do not want this behavior. I want page by page. So what you can do, you can type uh, directory, then pipe command and more. Now you will hit enter, you will see it is gonna go page by page. Okay. So our demo time uh, ends here.